While stall spin training can be thought of as angle of attack management, unusual attitude recoveries require acute situational awareness. Stall spin accidents can be avoided by a solid understanding of aerodynamics, by knowing how an airplane will behave at various phases of flight and how to stay out of the danger zone. Unusual attitudes, on the other hand, are rarely predictable occurrences and often put the aircraft in a nose-low, inverted or semi-inverted attitude. The sudden onset of the unusual attitude and the violent manner in which it generally happens take many pilots by surprise and leave them little time to identify the attitude they're in and recover the aircraft. Often the pilot doesn't know exactly why the sudden unusual attitude occurred, but he is nonetheless responsible to quickly assess the situation and recover the aircraft back to straight and level flight. And this is the heart of all attitude training, giving you the tools to recover the aircraft from any attitude, while at the same time teaching you to relax and think clearly in a situation that is at best severely startling making unusual attitudes usual. This next phase in your upset training takes you into the arena of aerobatics, and for many, this will be their first time putting an aircraft into a truly unusual attitude. Although you'll be flying aerobatic maneuvers and utilizing an aerobatic aircraft for this phase of your training, it's important to realize that this is not aerobatic training. True aerobatic training teaches you to fly the maneuvers with precision. Upset training uses aerobatic maneuvers to expose you to the full flight envelope of your aircraft and to do so with safety in mind. You'll be exposed to a variety of maneuvers from rolls and loops to combination maneuvers including both a roll and a loop. You'll gain an understanding of how an aircraft feels below the typical stalling speed and what it feels like to be inverted in a nose low attitude. Most importantly, you'll be taught to stay calm and to assess the situation the aircraft is in and you'll be given the tools to quickly and safely recover the aircraft to normal, straight and level flight. This final phase of your training will be the culmination of all you've learned so far and make you actually put your newfound knowledge to the test. You'll have been given the raw tools for the prevention and recovery from various unusual attitudes, and now you'll be given the chance to put those tools to use. For this final phase of your training, scenario-based situations will be used to best prepare you for a real world of aircraft upset. You may know that an aircraft upset is coming, but what you won't know is exactly what's going to happen. It's here, in the unknown, that you'll put your newfound knowledge and tools to work to safely recover the aircraft from any attitude. You didn't learn to fly an airplane only from a book or video, and you won't be able to learn how to safely recover your aircraft from an upset in that manner either. Only proper professional training with an approved instructor in a certified airplane will give you the mental and physical preparedness needed during these truly unusual circumstances. And then, practice as much as your own type of aircraft will allow, and as often as possible. This is one area of flying where you have to remain current, because it's only when aircraft upset recovery techniques become second nature that you truly have a chance of surviving aviation's top killer.